This day, Mahala Amavasya is very significant for that. Shivaratri, Amavasya, and the next day after that, those three days. As we have responsibilities towards the living, we have responsibilities towards the dead. Within a limited period of time after death, there is room for impacting the dead. Mahalaya Mavasya is an important day in this direction. If the death is of a certain kind, within a certain limitations of time, there is a way to impact life that is beyond this body. It is a responsibility that everybody should fulfill that this is not a question of belief, this is not a question of religion, this is about understanding. The accumulation of body is not the beginning and this embodiment is not the end. That there are other dimensions to life and there are ways to impact those dimensions. This day, Mahalaya Mavasya is very significant for that, so that is why this Kala Bhairava Karma and the way of impacting. This culture has deeply invested in this because we saw that our responsibility for a life is not over with the end of the body. Especially those of you who find your body is not integrated enough, constantly it's troubling you, such people should walk barefoot. It'll be nice if you can crawl, more contact, I mean. <laughs> this is why you're prostrate. What do you think is the purpose of taking a dip in the temple pond and going and prostrating inside? Uh, Everything in your body comes in touch. This is what Sashtang means, that the key points in your body must be in touch with the earth. For one who is on a spiritual sadhana, particularly on those days, Shivaratri, Amavasya, and the next day after that, those three days, what is available on the planet is phenomenal. And it's also a reminder for you to intensify your sadhana on that day, not missing the opportunity of what is there. So on that day, walking barefoot. Every day there is benefit, but on those days there is a particular kind of benefit. We will provide this uh, uh, substance to you which is being called as Thai Manno, which means the Mother Earth. This is a mixture of five different aspects, nearly fifty percent is soil. There is some amount of uh, green gram flower. There is uh, what is called as uh, organic camphor. And there is a little bit of soap nut powder. And there is one more herb in that. All together, you can apply this. If you have the time, the best way to do it is apply it to your entire body. Do your practice and then shower without soap because this will act as soap because it has soap nut powder and other aspects to it. It will leave a mild sense of camphor on the body. It is very healing in various ways. It opens up the pores of your skin. If you do this at least for two to three hours, do not apply any cream or oil or anything because the body has to breathe. Breathing is not just through your nostrils. Every pore in the skin has to breathe. The more it breathes, the more it's connected to everything around you and your energetic body will develop well if you allow the body to breathe. You must understand this, if you put any harsh chemical on the thing, by natural resistance, the pores will close. This is what is happening when you apply soap, it is closing. Well, if it is necessary, your body is in a certain condition, you want to use soap, it's all right, it's not you have to be puritanical right that, but generally being conscious that applying anything sticky or oily 
also blocks the pores. Applying any kind of chemical, naturally the body cringes and closes. It'll open after some time, but it'll close at that time. Especially if you're showering with cold water, body should open up, body should receive the water. You have only certain amount of time for your sadhana, then the places that you need to apply is the soles of your feet, very important, and your palm around the navel, anahata, where the ribcage meets, pit of the throat or the entire throat, and forehead, just here you can apply or you can apply the whole thing, or you can apply for your whole face if you wish. But it's all a question of convenience, you may be working and you may be seeing people with your face full of mud, it may not be practical, you can just keep it like this, like how Vibhuti is kept like that, you can just apply. According to your convenience, you do it, but there is no harm in applying it at least once a month or once a week or whatever it allows, entire body and doing that. If you keep at least one day in the cycle of the moon, that is one during Amavasya to Pavnami and one during Pavnami to Amavasya, that means every fourteen to fifteen days, if you keep one day where you apply head to toe, spend two, three hours doing this, in terms of health and well-being, there will be immense benefits one can clearly see.